Hi, I'm Susan Bond. Welcome to my blog. This year, we're going to do a handcraft holiday and we're going to do it together. So I've come up with some ideas that I think are going to work pretty well. Um, we'll work from through fall into the Christmas holidays with a color theme with just a few chain, change ups that will get us all the way through the holiday. So I want to kind of go over some of the things that we're going to be doing. Um, the first thing I did was I came up with a color palette. So the color palette that I came up with for this would be a black and white buffalo plaid or buffalo check. And um, I thought that this would be really great to have during not only from fall into Thanksgiving, but for Christmas. So to carry it from Thanksgiving into Christmas, we're going to use um, some oranges and some yellows will be included in the fall theme, the Halloween and, and Thanksgiving theme. And then come Christmas, we'll remove the orange and we'll bring in red. We're also gonna use a little bit of purple as just an accent color. It won't be prominent, just to add a little accent. And of course, black and white is gonna be the theme all the way through. I think by using a basic theme like this, we can take our fall decor into Christmas by just making some subtle changes without having to take everything down and start all over again. If you're like me, taking everything down after Thanksgiving and then putting it back up the day after Thanksgiving is crazy. And, and it's just, I think it would be easier to do a nice transition. It would sure make it a lot easier, I think. So some of the things that I've done is um, along with our color theme, just a few things that, that we're gonna that I'm gonna use along the way. I bought, and I'm gonna have links in my Amazon shop to all of these. I've got these Buffalo Check um, napkins. I always use cloth napkins. These are 20 by 20 and they're cotton. They should wash and press up really nicely. And then I also bought a couple of table runners in the same plaid and I think offsetting those with those bright orange and red colors. Won't red just look so pretty with this and, and orange too. In addition to that, I picked up a couple of things. I was at Michael's the other day and I bought these on sale. Now this looks very Halloween, but I think for, um, for fall, I'll put an orange candle on it and for Christmas, I'll switch a candle out and I'll put a red candle. And here's a little trick. I use those Luminara candles. I buy them primarily at Pottery Barn. I, I think you can buy them other places as well. And rather than having to buy candles in different colors, what I do is I cut a strip of paper and wrap it around that candle and it looks like that's the color of the candle. So I do that for Christmas, I do that for Thanksgiving, I do it for Easter, I do it all year long. So that works super, super well. I cut out a bunch of leaves for um, a front door wreath that we're going to make. That will be our first project. And let me show you the wreath. This is the wreath that I made that I put on my front door. Um, whoop, got it upside down. <laughs> the wreath that I put on my front door. And while mine is paper, the flower is paper, you don't need to be a paper florist to have a pretty wreath like this. I'm going to swap this out. You could use silk flowers. You could use any kind of flower that you want. If you're a paper florist, great, make your, your own flowers. If not, buy some, go to Michael's, go to Pottery Barn, wherever Pottery Barn has some stunning silk flowers. And then all of this is just paper and it's their leaves that have been cut into leaf shapes. And I've got them in three different sizes and I will provide the PDF for you as well. I'll put that up. And um, I think this is going to be our first project. So after Thanksgiving is over, I'm going to take the sunflower off and put on some red flowers for Christmas. So we'll be able to keep the same wreath. I might add a little glitter shine to it or hit it with a little bit of glitter spray. But other than that, it's going to stay pretty much the same. I'm just going to accent it with red instead of orange. So that's going to be the theme of the entire project is taking simple ideas and just swapping out uh, with new simple ideas to make changes. So I'm going to be decorating my entire house and you don't have to be as crazy as I am by decorating your entire house. 
but I'm going to show you along the way all the little things that I do from and now I have a Cricut and I use my Cricut a lot when I'm decorating so I'll be cutting cutting out window cling to put messages on my mirrors for the holidays and um, to put snowflakes on the front windows and things like that and you could skip that you can go as all in as you want or just do a little here or there but our first project is going to be our front door wreath after we do our front door wreath i will walk you through using our color palette i did this arrangement for my thanksgiving table now i made my vase it's actually quilled paper and I wanted to go with that black and white theme. So I did it all in black and white and I added the, these flowers in. So we're going to put together an arrangement like this for your Thanksgiving table. And I'll walk you through your entire Thanksgiving table with plenty of time to get everything that you need to make your table what you would like it to be. And um, so I'll walk you through that. Now this doesn't have any purple in it. I haven't done that yet. I am gonna add a few little purple accents in it just to kind of brighten it up a little bit. So there you have it. I think it's gonna be super fun. We're gonna make our, our um, front door wreath. You could actually hang that in the house too. It'd be really pretty. If your front door isn't in a place where it's safe from weather, mine, I have a porch, so mine is safe from weather, then I would suggest that you use this wreath indoors. If you're wanting to do this and do it outdoors, then I would suggest we choose a different material. There's lots of great plastics out there that you could cut and make your leaves out of. You could dip your flower, your leaves in wax if you wanted to as well. I'm not gonna do that, but I'll certainly give you some ideas on how you could use that outdoors. So I hope you follow along with me. As I mentioned in my Amazon shop, I will have all of the supplies that you need from where to get your paper, um, where to buy the crepe paper if you want to make crepe paper flowers, where to buy chargers. So this is a charger I'm going to use for Thanksgiving. I'll swap this out for Christmas and um, we're and also I'll show you every, everything that you're going to need for the entire whole season long. So I hope you're going to join me and please don't forget to talk to me along the way and share some of your ideas and let me know if you're having trouble or if you need some help. I'm always here for you and I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to hear you, what you're making. And don't forget to use the hashtag crafting with Susan B. I appreciate you joining me today and I so look forward to seeing you. So let's get started on decorating for the holidays. Thanks so much, take care.